We gotta roll out in the bread truck real quick because I got a tip on where some bright yellow shelves are. You guys know how much I love bright yellow shelves. Old bread truck. Yeah, baby. The drive so smooth. All right, I don't know that there's much chance they're gonna be here. The person who sent me the message about the shelves, I uh, saw them on Monday, but uh, whenever you send me messages on Instagram, it goes to a special folder if I don't already follow you. So I only check that like once a week, so sometimes that kind of thing falls to the crack. Wish I'd checked it sooner, because I really want these shelves. But uh, we'll run in here to the Goodwill, see if they're there, and buy what they are. If not, we'll still do some thrifting. Uh, Fingers crossed. Oh yeah. Now, we're not in the clear yet. They could still have a sold sign on them, but I'm sure they're fine. Oh, and there's three of them. No sold sticker. Let's go. Buy them all. 20 bucks a piece. 20. For those of you who don't know, with our shelves in our game room at home, uh, three of them, as of now, are actually these IKEA already painted yellow ones. They released them for some sort of anniversary. I can't remember what now, but about a year, year and a half ago now. And since then, I've just bought white shelves and painted them about the same color yellow. But uh, I like these that are already yellow. They're very smooth, and you know you can't see my. Uh, paint job you can tell the ones at home is the one that i painted the one that hannah painted because she's a good painter and i'm not but uh these are nice they're very very nice so i'm happy to have them I'll pay whatever they want uh yeah for a minute but okay, i'm gonna yeah i don't want to rush you guys i'll just yeah. take them to the donation side all right let's do some regular shifting real quick bag toy wall these bags are packed tight But all I see is a Pokeball for you. <sighs> so far, nothing. Barbie. While Dallas was getting those shelves, I spotted this little hurricane lamp. So pretty. I've never seen one that's the double lamp like this. It's so cool. I mean, it's 20 bucks, and I don't love the pattern on the front. I'd want it for myself. It's like supposed to be colored, but it's not. Like the grapes don't do anything for me, but it is very pretty. I wish it was different globes, but that's cool. There's a whole bunch of close, but not close enough here. Like, even though this is a cheaper RC, I've been wanting one just to attach a GoPro to and do <laughs> funny things with. Both of these Nerf guns are missing pieces, and I would have wanted both. Just, uh, I don't know, at least it's stock though. This Goodwill is really well stocked right now. We haven't been here in a while. This used to be one that we'd go to the bins pre-COVID when we go to the bins almost daily. This would be one of our routes on the way home that we'd stop at. Looks like the mug section has some fun things going on in it. This is a, this is my vibe. Antique bicycle, got some typewriters, some little antique chairs. Very cute. Royal North, Norfolk. Aww. Very cool. Little Planet Hollywood. This LA mug is pretty sweet too. Somebody had a nice collection. They've got a pretty sizable jean collection here, so let's uh check if there's anything good here. Ooh, got some Levi's. Mm, Fifteen dollars for those is not really speaking my language. More Levi's. Those are newer. Xena jeans? Yes. Xena jeans do a lot of really fun seam work and even some colors that are really fun, like pastel patchwork. These are a little bit meh. I'd probably grab them if we were at the bins, but I don't really want to spend big money on that. There are so many video games here. 
that's the most video games I've seen in a good will in a while. But I gotta scan a bunch of them. I don't know if I have them. Well, I definitely know I don't have that. Yes. There's so many games here. It's crazy. Yeah, I've, I've got a stack that I should probably get. They're all a little bit expensive though. They're all five or six bucks, so I'm gonna be real picky and not just get everything I don't have. Just, just the stuff that's genuinely interesting. It's almost overwhelming. It's most games I've seen in a good one in a while. Yeah, they got we fit though. They've already wheeled our shelves out there, right there. I guess let's go pay for these and the shelves and then we'll pull around and pick them up. Because the games at this particular store were a little bit expensive, <laughs> we basically used our 20% off coupon just to get these for free. I guess you could think of it that way. Uh, would have been a little bit better if I had bought games. We would have got like, you know, $15 off those shelves or so. Okay, we're gonna pull over and pick them up. You guys remember this shelf from I think two episodes ago here in my gaming setup I've got a wild idea for it it's almost certainly not gonna work but I think I have to try but let's get everything off the shelf first don't worry it'll come back but I got to do something to it I I hope this works but I'm gonna attach something to it that's probably gonna be too heavy but I gotta try this is the shelf this is a TV I wish it weren't as heavy as it is, but it's heavy. But look how perfectly this lines up edge to edge. I think it's gonna have a, I think it's gonna have a background, a moving background. But uh, we're gonna see. I think it's gonna make it really top heavy. That doesn't mean I can't counteract it with some weights at the bottom. I've got sandbags and disc weights laying around, so that can certainly happen. I have no idea how this works. Oh, there's two more. I've never taken this one apart. But none of that matters if the wood's not gonna hold it up. So let me get this thing attached. And if it stands on its own, I'm gonna program some really cool moving backgrounds for it. So stick around. So I was able to anchor a couple screws in the top which are fine, they'll give extra stability, but the thing that's really gonna make this cling to this shelf is I'm actually gonna remove one or two of the body screws. And I'm going to be able to put the body screws back in, holding these brackets on, which if you come around here, I'm gonna sink this in. more screws in there but I'm gonna go all the way around like that and support it and I think it'll hold I think it'll be fine 
its center of gravity should stay relatively the same. I think it'll be all right. Let's see how the center of gravity is. I'm a little worried. Not a lot, because if this doesn't work, the TV was just a $5 Goodwill buy, so. Its center of gravity is a little weird, but it's okay, because where it sits, it leans back against something. How does it look up front? Does it look bad? No, it's fine. Oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna gaff tape up the cracks in the Samsung. Do something with the raw edges, but when the shelves are back on, the toys are in front of it, and you just have Minecraft people running back across. Oh, baby! <laughs> now let's actually let's plug it up real quick before we move it back. Make sure I didn't destroy it somehow. So it's, it's days like these that I feel like a wizard, and then I try to turn something on, okay. and those feelings go away. Oh, it's on the inside. No cracks. No cracks. We're good. Woo! Where's the gaff tape? We need to tape up these cracks. The inside of gaff tape's white, so we will have to put the tape on the inside. It's fine. I have two rolls of gaff tape around. One of them's full, and one of them I've split into three sizes. First things first. You definitely lose the Samsung. Right. Oh, it's seamless. It's like nothing ever happened, right? I'm gonna run out of that soon. I just ran out of it, I knew it. I've used so much gaff tape in my life, I have a sixth sense about these things. If you don't know about gaff tape, uh, it's basically, it's main use for a lot of us is for TV, film, stage kind of thing. Uh, you know, it's resid it sticks well, but it's residue is not quite as bad as something like duct tape. So it gets a lot of use just because of that. Not to say it has no residue, because it can get sticky in the heat. We've all had many a mic cable that we've taped to the ground and never got the residue off of, right? We've all been there. That's pretty clean though, ain't it? Yeah. I'm gonna have to spend the rest of the day now designing something to put over it. What, what does it need? Does it need Steve's? Does it need blocks? I don't know. I guess I'll try to use this thinner strip. It's not gonna be bad if I just get it in the right place. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't consider gaff tape reusable, but a lot of us in the biz, since gaff tape prices can be so high per roll, you can definitely take strips off like this and throw it back on the roll. Pretty, a lot easier than you could some duct tape. Why, am I, why did I nail that first one? And now I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Oh baby, that's to the max is what that is. That's overkill, baby, let's go. Minecraft. All right, are you guys ready for this reveal? I am super pumped about this. It kind of turned out better than I really could have even imagined. I still have a little bit of work to do. I've got to change some brightness settings and stuff, and um, but I, I, I need more shelves. I need to basically do this two or three more times and have a perfect backdrop for what I'm doing. But. The real kicker here is that whatever content I'm making, if I'm making something for this channel, I can put up some Goodwill graphics related if I want to. If I'm playing Minecraft, oh fire, Minecraft fire. If I'm playing Minecraft, this backdrop can be up while I do that. If I'm making a Mario video for our second channel, I can record with Mario stuff going on in the background. And this is kind of a dream come true. I've thought about this for years and I don't know why I haven't done it yet. I just needed some crappy Goodwill shelves. Like this one we got at Goodwill. Even this TV. I think I got this TV out of the trash. So I wasn't afraid to screw some holes in it and potentially mess it up. Uh, you can see the brightest brights are a little bit too bright for what I got going on. But all this can be adjusted in settings. I couldn't be more happy. And, and this, this is a five or six minute loop of just minecraft stuff happening and i can there you go there's a blaze i can just leave it going and uh i'm happy most of the time when this is being used it's going to look more like this so it's really in the background there and i can just kind of run around and play a game 
and just let it do its thing and you can see daylight coming and going and it looks even better that way really i mean it's just a neat it's almost just a neat lighting effect at that point and then if i'm going to talk to the camera like if i'm on twitch and we're just going to chat in between games it's cool it's pretty cool i'm happy with it i'm happy with the way that turned out so this is a multi-day project what did we buy this two or three episodes ago and i set it up maybe a little on another episode and here we go look at that look at these graphics baby that's a that's a cup of lava just floating down the screen there <laughs> i'm clearly clearly very pleased with myself all right that's cool we got fire baby look at my backdrop fire all right guys that's gonna be it for the day we're not even gonna do a regular wrap up because did we even get anything besides the shells a couple video games and that was it this is really the main thing today i guess was a, a shelf kind of day those yellow shelves are still in the back of the bread truck i'm not even going to bring them in the house they're going to get dropped off at our antique malls probably i don't know sometime in the next week's worth of episodes we're going to go overhaul an entire antique mall that we have a booth in uh we're going to redo the whole booth more shelves take out some other stuff it's going to be good that'll be worth your sub just for that subscribe if you haven't already turn your notifications on and uh you'll see uh you'll get some notifications when we post videos like that it's going to be a lot of work getting those shelves into our antique mall and rearranging all the toys on them but i'm looking forward to it uh but that was shelf set one shelf number two this is still an ongoing project i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope maybe it inspires someone i don't know if you've ever thought about just drilling a tv into the back of your display stands but I, how long have I been talking about doing something like this? I mean, a while. A long time. <laughs> so I'm glad it's done. And uh, I'll be even more glad when I find a couple more of those. Thanks again uh, to the guy who sent me a message on Instagram and let me know those yellow shells were there. I really do appreciate it. Uh, it I, honestly, I probably, I'd say half of my yellow shelves that are in our game room now uh, kind of came to us that way. People around town will let me know when... Uh, the shelves I need show up and I'll, I'll go get them. I really do appreciate that. So maybe one of you guys can come in clutch with these. I'll drive anywhere in Phoenix to pick up some more of them at the thrift for a few bucks. Uh, I'm going to need to find some crappy TVs too, but that's probably going to be at the bins. I'll bring home some crappy TVs at the bins to do this to a couple more of these, but high fives. I think we did good today. Any final thoughts? Um, nope. Nope. All right. Well, <laughs> thanks for hanging out with us guys. Do me a huge, huge favor if you click on this video up here you can check out our latest gaming video we played some super smash click the video below that and you can check out our latest minecraft shenanigans we are doing a lot of minecraft coming up so click on that that's kind of what the shelf's for and then right down here you can click on this button and it'll help you get subscribed if you're not already so come back next time guys and until then peace out